I'm Daniel Madison. Thanks for being here. Welcome back. I really do appreciate you choosing to spend your time with me when maybe you've got better things to do. Maybe not today because this video, I've been really looking forward to this video for about a couple of days. I don't know. If you don't know who I am, I am Daniel Madison. I am a creator, performer and teacher of magic, sleight of hand, close-up deception, specifically with playing cards and typically with my very own playing cards. You want to learn or improve your sleight of hand, close-up magic, this is the place. You want to find out about the best playing cards in the industry, this is the place for you. Especially this video today, which I've been so excited about. I am Dario Madison and this is the Madison Deck Review episode four. I think the new playing cards are about to be delivered right now. Yes! What the hell was that? Yes! Before I get to the main box. Oh, I've been looking forward to these. Yes! I absolutely love my sunglass fans. I absolutely love my sunglasses collection and this well, no, I'll be really looking forward to these. I think I might do the rest of the deck review with these on. Maybe not. Before I get to uh, this, what's inside this, this is deck review episode four right inside this very box. Before we get to this, what's just been delivered is something that I've been waiting for for a little bit of time. So I'm gonna open this right now so you can see what's inside. Because so many people are asking for these, I got new editions made of, of how to cheat at cards. A white cover with Charlie on the back. So I have a bunch of those and they're available right now on my website. This is, I'm in love with this cap. I'm not gonna wear it right now because I've just done my hair. And these are available on my site right now. Charlie Madison caps. What I did wanna show you is something so cool. I've been waiting a long time for these and it kind of lends itself or it links back to something I mentioned in a previous video about keeping Madisonist alive. This is the Madisonist close-up roll-up. Roll-up, close-up, Madisonist roll-ups. I'm calling these Madisonist roll-ups. So this is basically uh, the Madisonist close-up surface. It's a really nice thin rubber with, with a kind of velvet suede finish on top with the print of the Madisonist logo. These are used for close-up practice with playing cards. A lot of magicians and sleight of hand enthusiasts will already know what these are. Um, these were made by my friend Jordan Murphy, JM Authentics, and you can pick them up right now on my website. The new books, the caps, and the Madisonist roll-up close-ups all on my website right now. So let's get to the actual reason that you're watching this video right now. Episode number four, the Madisonist deck review. This is what I'm gonna open right now. This is from Germany, from somebody who's just become a friend of mine. Most people watching will know who he is, especially when you see the back of the box. When I saw this box, I could not wait. So let's open this right now. I, I, I kinda of wanna reserve these stickers, but I'm kinda of hoping at the same time that there's some inside here that I can use and stick to my wall. What? Four decks of playing cards inside here. I'm showing you exactly what I can see. I've been looking forward to seeing these playing cards for so long. Now, from just my general knowledge, I believe that these are the third in the series from Daniel and the Black Rose playing card series. I believe these are called the Innocence playing cards. I really love the minimal box. We'll get to that in a second. Right now, we're just gonna have a quick look online so that I can give you the most accurate information. Uh, Daniel didn't leave any notes inside. Uh, nor did he leave thanks nor did he leave any stickers black roses innocence 12 dollars a deck the innocence deck is the third yes the innocence deck is the third uspcc deck release from the lead graphic designer of the orbit deck daniel schneider daniel i didn't know that about you man that is flipping cool 
It has long been a goal of Daniel to design a deck like the Innocence playing cards, extremely detailed dot work drawings in combination with familiar looking faces, face cards, astonished without giving you the feel of an overloaded deck of cards. I do like the sound of that, I like where it's going already. A very close friend of Daniel drew the woman you see on the back design more as a sketch. What? She showed it to him and he loved it. A picture is worth a thousand words and this is the best example of it. Daniel couldn't resist the had to design a deck around it. Cause why wouldn't you want to design a deck around it? Even though the first cards of this deck look like standard USPCC courts, they are slightly different. The court cards have reduced colors in black, gray and red to match the rest of the design. Limited to 2,500 decks. Wow, look at me, I have four decks. So um, why don't we open these up and have a look. So we know that these are USPCC, United States Playing Card Company. Playing cards, you can kind of take a guess that these are crushed stock because of the space that's left inside the box. Uh, USPC don't seem to account for the uh, crushed stock when you crush a deck of playing cards which basically means you're making the deck feel thinner, which a lot of cardists and a lot of gamblers uh, seem to like. I'm a huge fan of that too. They don't account for that when making the Turk box. They still keep the standard Turk. So you get this rattle, you get this shake, uh, where there's so much more room left inside. It's not a big deal. Who gives a swear word? Let's open these up. Mother f So as you know, I'm a huge fan of minimal artwork of minimal design i really love negative space and this kind of um matches or fits nicely with with my kind of design and my design style a lot of negative space on there which is really nice and i love how the logo not just of this deck but of all in uh, daniel's series it speaks for itself it's it's a black rose so you, oh, there's two black there are two black roses there are two black roses so you know black rose playing cards i really do like that seal as well i'm guessing it's the lady's hand uh, she looks like she could be palming a playing card the back design is featured on the back of the box we'll look at that in a second distributed by blackroseplayingcards.com i will leave a link to these in this video description moosh germany made in the usa as i'm breaking the seal i can kind of see that there's something under the seal so i'm going to peel it off to have a look and, um, I'll show you guys. So that reveals a, a quite a nice ornate design that looks like a, a butterfly or a moth of sorts. Or the one, one on top of the tuck, one hidden inside the tuck flap. Let's take these playing cards out, check out the box itself. Nothing inside, not a big deal. I don't, I'm not a fan of, of spending too much money and wasting too much time on the box design because here's what I do when I take the cards out of the box. Who gives a swear word? You're not gonna use it in performance. It's only to keep your cards in. In fact, I know a lot of people who um, who don't even use the box. Who once, once they've taken the cards out, they get rid of the box. I don't do that. I do keep my cards in the box, but a lot of people do do that. Now the back design confused me a little bit because the first card on top of the deck that you see is a different color to the rest of the deck. It's like a gold edition. I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to call it gold. Uh, I think it's gold. We'll put that aside. Uh, we've got an eight, eight of spades on there. Maybe Daniel's favorite card. That's interesting. We'll look at that in a few minutes. You have a double back playing card. Uh, very standard. I think there's been a double back playing card in every deck review I've done so far. So that's the fourth one. Magicians love that. You have very simple fans. You have a very simple joker of the lady holding, uh, I want to say a, a, a samurai sword, katana, I don't know what the right word is. On the second joker, it's pretty much exactly the same, but it's a really nice reveal. The sword is piercing the ace of hearts. Uh, some very nice tricks uh, that you can do with things like this. That's a really nice touch. I'm a fan of that. A really nice ace of spades made from the naked lady carrying two swords. Uh, the word innocence. The faces of the cards when I'm looking through, we see the spades first and they all look very standard until you get to the king, queen, jack, the court cards. And I'm a huge fan of this. And the court cards themselves, they do look like uh, industry standard court cards or should I say USPC standard court cards apart from the color alteration. I get to the diamonds and the red doesn't look much darker. It looks like a standard USPC red. 
I might be wrong about that, but the same thing happens again when you get to the diamonds. The King Queen Jack of Diamonds, the actual bodies of them have been grey scaled, so you're just seeing greys. I need to stop to take a breath, I'm running out of breath, I'm that excited. So they've been made grey scale, there's no red on there. The diamond, however, inside that box, the diamonds have been made red. And I've seen this before online, never seen it in person on deck of playing cards. Uh, Daniel has made himself as the king of diamonds in his playing cards. He is a man after my own heart. The clubs, once again, they seem a little bit darker in the body. They have been made grayscale. Uh, the queen of clubs is must be somebody that Daniel knows. He has changed. He has altered this card. And she is holding a butterfly knife. And that has a little bit of color on it. It's a nice touch. The hearts, just like the diamonds are have been grayscale but you have a red heart inside the body of the art. Now I'm just going to look because the hearts, the court cards on the hearts look a lot darker and then the clubs look dark too but not as dark. The reds look lighter, I mean the diamonds and the spades look lighter. Daniel why did you do that? I'm like interested, like they're all different levels of grey, some are very dark, some are very light, it's interesting. So let's look at the back design, now the back is made up mainly of dot work, there's like thousands of dots in there. Back design is very simple, like there's a negative circle right in the middle suggesting maybe a sun or a moon, there's also like a, a crest, a, a half moon at the top and the bottom. Uh, it's a really nice design and I like, although it's black, ink because of the dot work and because of the line work it kind of looks like a grey image. I'm a huge fan, I really am and I do like the fact that this is a border deck which means it's got a white border going around. Uh, it's not the thinnest border that I've ever seen and it doesn't need to be. For some reason out of nowhere all of a sudden came along this competition with card designers to see who can make the thinnest borders and I found it quite, found it quite weird but it is something that I always pay attention to. The borders seem really nice on this, not too big, not too thin, but the point I want to make is it's not a solid border. The border is actually made up from the design of the deck itself, and that's a really nice touch. Daniel, you've done a really good job with this deck. I'm a huge fan. Black Rose's Innocence playing card. Let's take these for a spin and see what they look like on film. Overall, this is a great contribution to the playing card world, to the playing card industry. When you make a deck of playing cards, it goes down in history, whether people love it or hate it or forget about it, and it certainly becomes a part of history. So this is your third deck in the series, and I think you're doing a great job. I love this deck of playing cards, and I'm looking forward to whatever you do next. And I'm lucky that I can now call you a friend. Daniel, well done. I do love this deck. I'm gonna give this deck a nine, out of 10. Now you might ask why I didn't give this a 10 and it's a very simple reason, a very simple reason and as always it's a very personal reason. The court cards being grayscale doesn't work with me, uh, It doesn't. I can't get used to it. I accept it, it's, it's, it is a nice touch and it does look good but for me personally considering that you've tried to make this deck look like as, as much like a standard normal usable deck as possible 
which it is all those things. If the court cards had colors in them, if you had a little bit of red, it would look like a deck of playing cards that you could use at a card table for card games, for poker games. And I do try to be tough and brutal with these reviews, thanks. But the problem with this deck is it's too good to be tough. I have no negatives apart from that little petty, silly thing of the courts being grayscale, which, you know, you'd think that I'd be all into that, and I really am. Um, but I have to consider every deck of playing cards I use, I've got to consider them for something that I do a lot, which is demonstrations of gambling and card cheating. If you present a deck of playing cards for card cheating demonstrations, gambling demonstrations, and people see anything that's kind of slightly out of place, it kind of waves a little bit of a white flag that this potentially could be a trick deck. You and I know it isn't. Magicians, sleight of hand people, people in the card world know that it isn't a trick there. We're not here to perform for each other, we're here to perform for real people. So when I go out and perform with this deck for real people, I won't be doing gambling demonstrations and I won't be doing card cheating techniques. I'll be using it for magic for that one simple reason. But as I said, don't let that put you off if you're thinking about picking these playing cards up. These playing cards are great. Thank you so much, Daniel, for sending me four decks. I'm going to keep this, in fact, I'm going to keep two of these. These two, I'm going to give them away to somebody watching this video right now. Here's how you can get these decks. Now, it does seem to be a very simple format for winning decks of playing cards, but it's been received so well in the previous videos that I'm going to keep doing it. If you want to win the, not just these two decks of playing cards, but also a signed, I will open this and sign this. This is the Madisonist Slide Club deck from my own personal collection. I will open that and I will sign it so you will get that deck plus two Innocence Black Rose playing cards. All that you have to do is tell me in the comment section of this video why I should send these playing cards to you. It's as simple as that. I will announce the winner in the next deck review video, but right now, before that, I need to announce who has won the Jet Setter playing cards. I believe I have them right here. This one is for me. I will sign this very deck right now. The winner of, hold on a second, Magic is dead. The winner of signed deck of Madison is playing cards for me and a sealed deck of Jet Setter playing cards is... You can find details of Daniel Schneider and where you can get the Black Rose Innocence playing cards in this video description. I'm having so much fun and I enjoy making the Madison deck review videos so much. I'm going to try my best to do at least one a week. I have so many decks of playing cards to get through so many incredible decks that I cannot wait to review. If you have a deck of playing cards that you've created and you want the chance of me reviewing your deck of playing cards on this very channel, send at least two decks to the address in this video description. One I need to open and review and play with and keep for myself and the second deck stays sealed so that I can give it away to somebody watching these videos. The Madisonist close-up roll-ups are available at my website right now along with the Charlie Madison caps. If you want to meet up with me and hang out with me, be in Leeds in the United Kingdom on the 26th of August two weeks away. I have given a few details in the previous videos that I've done, but full details will be on their way soon. But right now, thanks for being here. I am Daniel Madison and I will see you next time. <laughs>